All right, so it's been a hot topic for some weeks now. The Honorable Minister of Justice, Delroy Chuck, signaled that Obia could become legal pretty soon. But we, re we realize that not everyone is in agreement, especially after we read a few responses from our social media talkback. Senior pastor at the Church of God of Prophecy, Bishop Junior Hedlam, um, gives us his take into things. Good morning, sir, and Good welcome morning. to Smile Jamaica. Good morning. Um, what is Obia? Well, Obia depending on who is speaking about it, is really casting spell upon people. And generally, the, it is to accomplish something negative. So if I should go back from my own experience as a child growing up, you would hear about people in the community are working Obia. And it would never be something positive. So sometimes people die. Nobody seems to know what was the cause of their death. People say it is Obia. A child doesn't do well in school, that's a somebody obey them. Um, so there are all of these negative connotations attached to obia. I really have never heard anything positive about it. Um, I read an article and I discussed with the writer, Sheena Stubbs Gibson, she's a, she's a lawyer here, that the legal term for obia in Jamaica extends to the practice of myalism, which would include revivalism and other types of, of religious practice. In that sense, do you think that it becoming legal then should be allowed because it incorporates other types of religious practice and not just the connotations that you, you are suggesting? Well, one would have to tread cautiously on anything that you're going to make legal that is going to infect the drive fear upon the Jamaican people. Mm -hmm. And the fact of the matter is that if you, when when you think of obia, you're thinking about something that is negative, something that people are putting spirits on people to make them mm. deform, um, to make them um, less than so what they're supposed to be. So when you require transparency then, Bishop, instead of... Because, because if, if, it's trans, if it's legal, it makes it more transparent and it allows people to have a better understanding of what it is. Because but, right now you're suggesting that the fear is driven by conjecture by stories that people hear and, and that people... Because you have never... Have you ever met anyone that's been harmed by Obia? Not personally, but certainly... Yeah, but, you're, but you're saying people are afraid of it because of what people have said. So, so yes, there but may when, not be any truth to what people have said. No, but I don't know because, I mean, there are many persons who have said that they have been... People have, you know, performed Obia on them. Mm. And this is the outcome of it. There are um, places, for instance, where... People think that, well, children cannot become anything in school because of some obia that has been done to the school to prevent children. I mean, these are things that are very steep in the community. Is it's, it a part of our culture? I would have to say yes, because it has existed for, you know, forever, really. Um, but it's a dark part of the culture. But not Bishop everyone, but not everyone would think so, though. Some no, people, certainly not. And when I say not everyone would think so, um, because some people might have an ailment, and you hear them say, them say, them to do over them, and, and them get better. So that yes. person would think that was a good thing. It's not a bad thing. And I'm not defending anyone here, but that is a fact. Yes, and so, and so within the whole concept of the obia, there is what is called also the healing. Yeah. And the healing is where people like you say, would go to somebody for some sort of a remedy for some kind of a sickness. But there's also the other part of it, which is the casting of spell to really make people's lives miserable. Is there anything in the Bible that would suggest from your standpoint that maybe we, they don't use the word obia, but is there anything in the Bible that would suggest that that's a bad thing? Well, a reading of Acts 19, for instance, would bring you into into contact with the Ephesians. And one of the things that the apostle met upon when he went to Ephesus was people who practiced witchcraft. And witchcraft and obia essentially is the same thing. It's dealing no, with- Bishop. Oh. Oh. No, Witchcraft Bishop. and obia is the Bishop, same thing. Bishop, I'm gonna get, what is I'm the gonna get controversial with you, you know, no because problem. one of the things that the, the act says is, is the use of, of spiritual and, and religious for fraudulent means. No. The argument in the Gleena is that there are Christian churches or churches who purport to be Christian mm -hmm. who also use spiritual acts by fraudulent means to exact money and gain from people. 
Okay. So should that not also, so if we're going to lock up the Obia man, we should I lock up them people there too? Well, for me, I don't know which church does use, use spiritual acts for fraudulent means. But you don't um, know which Obia man either. But the idea of Obia is one that is making people very deathly afraid of, 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 the, of, of the situation. So if it is that this thing is going to make people afraid, I mean, when you look, for instance, at the society in which we live, people are already afraid of so many things. Mm. Um, a reading in, I think, the Observer of 2018, January, quoted the former Minister of National Security of complaining about what they found in, um, in, in St. James in the state of emergency, satanic altars that have been erected. Right. And, I mean, one question of how does all of this help to fuel even crime in our, in our country. Mm. Because a big part of what some of these spiritualities do is require blood, and sometimes even human blood, to carry out their devious deeds. Sir, um, and I'm, I'm not certain if you are one of the church leaders, but it says church leaders argued that um, to legalize it was leading the nation away from God. You well, Obia is that? not leading people to God naturally. It's leading people away from, from God. It's not biblical. It's not what Christ teaches. And Christ didn't teach us to have association with spirits other than the Holy Spirit. But, but do you so, believe that religious diversity is important? Of course. Uh, and, I and, no that, and, that, diversity. and that Obia, as we call it, is steeped in African spiritual practices? Because something is steep in African practices doesn't mean that we need to adapt it and accept it. Not as, not as a country that are, are African by, by descent? I don't think because something is African no, descent No, but because you're making it legal it. doesn't mean you're telling people they have to do it, though. Bishop. Yes, but then when you make it legal, mm. for, I mean, am I going to get up one morning and find that there's an Obey yard next to me? Where are we going to put the limits? Maybe. But do I want an Obe yard next to me? You want an Obe yard next to you? I don't know what happens in an Obe yard. <laughs> well, so there, that's why I am. I, am there, some, I don't know what. Well, I don't I, know what happens in that, an Obe and, yard. And, that and I've up, never been there. Most of what I know yes. it, it are stories that people have have but said. The, yes, but but, the, but you know, when we're ready to talk a story, we can talk a story. Yes, but then there's a lot of things that's written about it as well, right? Mm. And from people who have studied it. For instance, the late Honorable, Most Honorable Siaga, he studied it and he wrote about it. I was reading some of what he wrote about it. And it has to do with a lot of evil spirits. And, um, Siaga, tell us it, right, say it of the evil spirits, Bishop? Yes. Bishop, careful. Do me a beg you. <laughs> yes, it has to do with... Well, if you, or then if you don't want to call it evil spirit, right. call it other spirits. Then. Right. Other it's spirits. You, spirituality you, know, about you and your group are saying all church leaders, I, I, I mean, I don't know, but the, the, the church leaders that you know are all against legalizing it. Well, I don't know. I've heard of you know, one or two persons who don't have a problem with legalizing it, but certainly the practice the most, is not most encouraged. persons I know in the church mm. would want to warn the government to tread very cautiously because we really don't know when you legalize Obia, where is, where is going to be the limit? At what point are we going to have them springing up all over the place? And as I said, people are very afraid of Obia. So should we, should we make the astrologers illegal as well? If it is driving fear upon people, then we need to be very careful how we promote those ideas within the society. Okay. Okay. Thanks for coming, sir. You're welcome. Senior pastor at the Church of God of Prophecy, Bishop Junior Headland. We're going to have some more and smile after the break. We'll By the way, yes. I did answer two questions for you. Me here. I was right? It sounds so. It sounds like you did right. I'm sure proud you of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. But I say, your favorite sitcom is either Olive Art Large or Lime Tree Lane. Olive Art Large is correct. Olive Art Large is correct. And the place that you like to be is the theatre. <laughs> no, sir. Oh, and Mrs. Bell in the house. <laughs> <laughs> We're so you should have said, I'm in the house. Why you never say your house? <laughs>